enemies of your soul. Number two, unbelief. Unbelief. The word of the Lord says that without faith, it is impossible to please God. The opposite of faith is doubt or unbelief. Unbelief keeps us from the thing that God has promised us in our lives. There was a time when Christ had resurrected and he came before his disciples. And at the point he came to them, the scripture says in John chapter 20, verses 27 to 30, it says, he said or spoke to Thomas and said, put your finger here, see my hands, reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, my Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen yet have believed. James 1.6 also says this. It says, but when you ask, you must believe and not doubt. Because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea blown and tossed by the wind. Unbelief is one of those things that fights your destiny. When you allow unbelief to come into your life, you will struggle with your footing or your standing. Unbelief fights your destiny. Today, my prayer for you is this, that you may believe. Remember, even the scripture talks about how we be get saved or how we become believers. It says, if you believe in your heart and you confess it with your mouth, you shall be saved. My prayer is that you cut out unbelief in your life and start to believe that the God that we serve is bigger than any of us, is bigger than any of our troubles, is bigger than any of our challenges. May unbelief not be a part of you. Enemy of the soul, number two. God bless you.